Welcome to the podcast Sube le volumen Conversation with the people who were with me In the world TV Carlos tonight Carlos tonight Historias de un reportero Hey everyone, welcome to Carlos Tonight. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. As you know, I had a great summer. I went to San Diego, California and Miami, Florida, and then the family and I went to Colombia. It was a great time and I am looking forward to sharing all those experiences with you in the coming weeks. Now, a lot of people wonder how I and others afford going to all these trips. The answer is simple, budgeting and savings. My guest this week helps people do just that and says it should start at a young age. Joining me now from Canada is Vienna Denkelcheck to talk more about that. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. Well, first I want to say thank you so much for having me here. It's great opportunity. Um, so my background is I'm a CPAC here in Canada. Um, I articled and did the firm life for a very long time and I started a business called Kids Can Budget. Um, you can find it at kidscanbudget.com but basically the whole inspiration was that I truly believe that um, parents should start teaching their kids about money management from a very young age. Um, when I first started the business, I did a survey of parents and almost all of them, pretty much all of them said they wish they had learned about it from a younger age and were more prepared and ready for adult life on their own. And, um, and so, yeah, I figured like this is so important to start talking about. Now, I remember like in school, um, we had like a, a chapter that we learned about budgeting and we learned about savings, but it didn't really go in depth, I think. Um, and so I feel like your program is very important. Um, tell us what other parents think about, you know, starting really young, teaching our kids about, you know, saving and then obviously budgeting. Yeah, definitely. Um, in Canada, here in our school system, I like growing up in school, I never really had a very in depth education on it like there was never a specific course on financial literacy um and so a lot of it begins at home and i find that similar to learning i'm sorry similar to reading financial literacy should begin at home and that may, means being more open to talking about it at home and that's what i've been finding when i chat with other parents um, i have a youtube series that i'm starting under my name vienna delichuk and i chat with other parents about this and almost all of them say that they are thinking about it. They've learned from their own experience that not having this background, becoming adults was really hard transition for them and they don't want their kids to experience that. And they want to set their kids up um, with a better financial money mindset. What's so your, um, a lot of, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so I was just going to say that a lot of parents are, ha they do have this on their mind. They just don't know where to get started or when to get started. I can imagine. Um, what's your advice on, you know, the, the perfect age to just introduce our children to um, financial things? Yeah, so a lot. So I've been doing quite a bit of research for my business. And the main thing is that I've been reading that studies show that kids as young as three years old can start understanding money transactions and by financial transactions so that's not to say like you have to start at three like every kid is a bit different some might be a little bit older or but some might be a bit younger like i have a two-year-old daughter and she can already count to 10 okay. <laughs> at the at her age which is fun like we taught we do it a lot we chat about counting a lot so i don't know if it's if it's that she's memorized it similar to her nursery rhymes or if she actually mm. truly understands it but that's what I want um, to do with my business is to encourage them to start younger and have a conversation younger and kind of gauge when they feel that they're ready because every kid is a little bit different. Why do you think it's so important that we teach children about uh, being financially responsible? As a society, I feel like we all struggle so much with so much debt. It's uh, no, Finances are a number probably your number one stressor in life if you don't have it, if you don't manage it. Um, 
And I think that if you, if we can train this money mindset, the way we start learning to read and learning our everyday manners in society, if we can teach these money skills, these budgeting skills from a young age, I just think that our kids will be so much more set up for the future. And it's, being, I don't know, being an adult is hard enough. Wouldn't it be nice to have money not be one of the worries? Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so what's the, the first step we should do? Yeah. So the first step would just be starting the conversation at home and making sure to, the key is remembering, trying to remember to bring it up. So day-to-day conversations, if you have a three-year-old, a five-year-old, even an eight-year-old at home and you're thinking and you're out at the store you could involve them instead of like just having them follow along you can involve them hey like oh bananas are this price today like um how do you think that's expensive do you like what do you think about this asking them questions constantly um asking them if they understand what they would learn like to learn about uh one thing that i want to teach in my course is to make sure to gauge their interest level like if they're not interested at this age then they won't want to learn it so see like try to incorporate it in things that they're interested in it's kind of like learning a, a different language you start at a young age because i think that kids um retain it more than if you were you know a little bit older as an adult Yes, totally. And even things like um, if they really want to buy something, instead of just saying, no, we can't afford it, just say, okay, well, how do you think we should save up money to buy this toy that you want? I have a a nephew who, um, they're both 18, they just turned 18, Um, but I think for about a year now they've been doing the whole uh, budgeting and, um, you know, using a debit card and, and whatnot. And I noticed that one is more um into like savings and you know every christmas present that's money or birthday whatever he likes to save it and then like purchase big items down the road um is that like something um you know that we should think about as far as like maybe you know giving them a, a debit card you know when they're teenagers of course Yeah. Um, Something that I encourage is that as soon as they're ready, like you can open up free here in Canada, at least you can open up free um, savings accounts for kids. Mm. And one thing that I would love for parents to start doing is having that conversation with them, with their kids in terms of any money that comes in, whether it's a gift, whether it's um, earning money from chores, um, whether it's just pretty much any money that they possibly have um, to encourage them to say, hey, okay, we have three categories for this money. You can save it, you can share it, or you can spend it. Let's allocate out this money, whatever, however much amount it is, into one of these three jars. And it's a really tricky situation where um, when we like we live in such a cashless society now, so it's really hard for them to physically understand where this money is going. So one thing I encourage with young kids is maybe doing like um, a big giant wall chart and drawing out the jars and saying, OK, we're going to put a dollar in this jar and a dollar in this jar. But it really builds up that. Um, money mindset because um, as important as budgeting and saving is, I think it's equally important to learn how to spend your money and learn how to share your money. And that in terms of donations and just being a really helpful member to the community. That's a a good exercise for them to uh, participate in, I feel. Yeah, definitely. Uh, What do you think about, um, you know, having allowances for, for children? Yes. So allowances, I always say, like, if this is working for your family, um, by all means, go for it. But I love teaching about um, building little entrepreneurs. And that in all I mean is on top of having their normal chores that they have um, to be a helpful member of the family, they should also um, have the opportunity to earn their money and know that make, like having this money comes from work and there's a little bit of a pain point. So like I mentioned before, if they wanted a toy and they wanted to save it for it, maybe say, 
okay, let's do these five chores for these two, three weeks and work your way towards saving towards towards saving for that toy. And ultimately, let them buy that toy because part of the learning process is the spending of the money and for them. And if they deeply regret spending that money after that is also part of the learning process because the mistakes that they make at this age is so much smaller than making these same money mistakes as an adult. So let them feel that pain and hurt if you can at this age in terms of making money mistakes. And that's a good segue to my next question, which was, what are some of the consequences of mismanaging, uh, you know, your money? Yeah, so, I mean, we all have friends and family and read in the news all the time about um, families that are in debt and struggling and, and especially in this economy now, even finding work is hard. So, like, a lot of the times, instead of focusing on mismanaging money, I always like to try and focus on the benefits of managing your money and having a budget. And imagine if you had a life where you could have a six month runway of emergency savings. Imagine how that would have helped you through the pandemic. And that certainly helped my family because that's something we do in, in, in my family. Um, but imagine how much how much more you could breathe easily if you had these skills and wouldn't it be nice for your kids to have these skills as well? Absolutely. And so with your program, um, do parents uh, go to a website to sign up or do you go to schools and kind of present um, your program? Yeah, so what I am working on right now, so right now I have on my website kidscanbudget.com and parents can go up there to sign up for an email list. And I also have a checklist because one big thing is like parents just don't know when to start. So I have a free checklist for everyone that uh, kind of talks about when your kid would be ready to sign up. And then I am working currently actively working on launching a course, hopefully for the new year. And this will be um, the Kids Can Budget Academy, where it's a tool for parents to learn about teaching their kids about money. And it's also going to be a tool about working on their own money mindset as well. How much of it is it like psychological um, when you're learning about financing? Oh, huge amount. I feel like for everyone, um, money is very emotional. A lot of the decisions you make, the purchases you make, they're all based on emotion, what you like, what your needs are currently, but it's a very emotional thing. I think psychology builds into it a lot. I'd love to do a lot more research on that too. Um, but part of um, my course having the parents money mindset module is because I do believe that kids learn so much whether you are actively teaching it or not they learn so much from their parents and seeing what they do so if they see that their parents are huge spenders then they may they'll probably grow up the same way right, yeah, right. <laughs> so um so a big thing that I also like to talk about is about simple living and minimalism because I do think that um that goes hand, hand in hand with budgeting Mm -hmm. um, with simple living and minimalism, it's setting priorities. And that's a huge part of setting priorities mm -hmm. or of budgeting is mm -hmm. setting priorities because we can aim to have everything that we want and need, but we can't have all the things. Right. I think um, when I was in college is when I was introduced to credit cards. Ah, and yeah. for me, it was just like, oh, my God, I got so much money. And, you know, I just wanted to spend it on everything. Um, yes. from like the little things like a piece of gum, like bubble gum, I would just swipe it. Um, <laughs> and then I learned, you know, that's not the route to get to go. And that was a bad idea, you know? Um, but as you get older, you kind of learn all this and you do your research and you find out, you know, you, I guess you have to learn, um, your mistakes, right? Yes. And uh, imagine if you learn those mistakes at a younger age, how much further, um, ahead, we could all be financially. Yeah. And I, I you know, I, I read articles about, you know, people <laughs> in debt and there's so much money. And I was like, oh my God, you know, uh, like you said, if we only learn at, at a young age. And so um, tell us a little bit about how, um, you know, parents react to, to your workshop and your, and your program that you offer. 
Yeah. So um, uh, most of the things that I've been doing is right now is with my interview series that I'm launching on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I find like it's so valuable to get their insights on what happens day to day. And so much of it is really interesting because it goes back to what they learned as a kid and what they know. And that's how... And whether it was not a good experience, so they're actively trying to figure out how to do better for their kids, or whether it was they did have a good experience, but they just um, don't have an active program in place to start teaching them. So that's the big that's the biggest part of um, what I'm trying to help out with, and just inspiring and everyone to start at a younger age and um i do have um a, a workbook that uh that i sell on my website as well and i found like parents have found this useful because there is a beginner beginner section on your parents mindset so there's like a questionnaire on how you're feeling about money and then there's a ton of activities for kids and it's just basically ideas ideas for how to bring this about into your day-to-day life and start talking about it regularly a big thing i found interesting was that with a lot of parents the they had said that money was kind of almost taboo to talk about as young kids like it, it we the consensus is that we're not sure whether it's just that they didn't want to talk about it because they thought that they kids are too young to talk about it or if they just didn't know how to talk about it or didn't have time to talk about it. But the general consensus was that it wasn't talked about for our parents' generation. Yeah. So, yeah, just having that mindset of, hey, this is okay to talk about. Like, it's not to say, like, you have to share every little detail and scare them. (laughs) But it is great to have them know, hey, like, like utilities cost this much or um, food costs this much. And this is and this is how we work to provide. Mm -hmm. And it's. It's also saying like this comes from hard work, like mom and dad have it handled, but it does come from hard work. And just letting them know that and understand that from a young age, I think, is Mm -hmm. quite important. Absolutely. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a a dad who loves to budget. He loves working on, you know, the numbers. And so um, it's great when we get the opportunity to go grocery shopping because he does the grocery shopping. Uh, Uh, So we go and he's like, okay. You know, here's my budget, and then he buys all the things that we that the family needs, and I just sit back and like watch him like at the grocery store picking and looking at prices and stuff, and I was like, that's awesome, and um, and he taught us at a very young age when you go shopping, you kind of pick up the item and say, do you really need this now or can it wait, and then you go and save your money. So um, been blessed to have that, and I hope that a lot of parents are out there, you know, are doing the same thing, right? Yeah, that's amazing. That's so amazing that you grew up with that because that's the whole part of the parent's mindset. Mm -hmm. Even if he didn't actively teach you that, by you watching him, you probably learned so much about budgeting and being more mindful. And that one decision at the grocery store carries on to all other aspects of your life. So that's wonderful that you had the dad who did that. Absolutely. And, you know, now I can go on vacation and go places that I want to go, right? Yes, um, amazing. Tell us again, uh, where can we can find your, your website and uh, connect with you? Yeah, so my website is kidscanbudget.com. Um, my YouTube channel where I uh, talk about a bunch of things like um, simple living, but mainly to tip, tip, provide tips and inspiration for budgeting. And I also chat with other parents about teaching about money man- management to kids. Um, my YouTube is under Vienna Danilchuk. And um, I also have a Facebook page for Kids Can Budget, and it's just at, at Kids Can Budget. Um, but the main part is if you want to get on my email list um, through kidscanbudget.com, then you will be on a wait list for my upcoming course, which I'm very excited to share. That's awesome, Vienna. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing. And of course, I'll be putting all your information in the show notes so people can connect and sign up. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for watching and for listening. Remember, you can check out my website, carlostonight.com, for more information on the podcast, see upcoming guests, and check out past episodes. That's carlostonight.com.